everyone. It's Kirsten from Kirsten Road Resale. Sorry, I'm driving. I can't really look. Um, so don't do what I'm doing. Don't leave your house at 2.30 in the afternoon to, to go and try to find some uh, some goodies, uh, aka jewelry and cool stuff like that. But this is the first I've been able to get out of my house. So wish me luck. Um, I'll let you know if I see anything. Okay, bye. so it's this really weird looking unassuming it's not really weird looking it's just kind of a creepy building um sorry i'm still not vehicle so we're gonna check it out and see what's going on Okay, well, um, I made it to one place. Uh, I was in there for like, I don't know, two hours. And I don't even know, I mean, I got stuff. Is it good? I have no idea. It's like 100 degrees here. <laughs> I'm like sweaty. Oh, note to self, don't leave the house at 2.30 in the afternoon to go to a bunch of antique stores. Ugh. Okay, well, when I get home and cool down and drink a bunch of water, I will uh, show you what I got, okay. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I hope everyone hung in there. I kind of cooled down. Not really, but that's okay. Anyway, this is my small little mini haul that I got um, at that really poorly done, <laughs> I apologize, <laughs> um, uh, let's antique or something with me. Yeah, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to go over this kind of quickly, but I was, I did actually pretty well. Remember on the way home, I was like, I don't know how well I did. I think I did okay. So we'll just start. I got this cool mid-century modern um, enameled bracelet. Um, and I, I love this. I love this thing. I really do. Um, this one has a little bit of wear to it. Um, not all of them do when you get them, but they usually do. And this one has moderate wear, but it was a great price and I couldn't leave it. So I decided I would pick it up. So I was very happy with that one. Um, sorry, I'm like leaning over. It's a weird angle for me. So I know. Okay, it's like reach down to your toes. Exercise while we're doing it. That's good. Look at this. This is sterling. This is a vintage uh, Mexico. Um, it doesn't say Tasco. A lot of the really old ones do not. They'll just say um, either silver Mexico or sterling Mexico. And this, look at this big chunky. Fabulous. Now it is hollow, so there's a little ding there, you know, but this is a much older piece and that is to be expected. And I, I loved it. I thought it was a great, great find. Um, and in the same booth as that, I found these amazing earrings. Look at those. Now I had enough time to test the silver to be silver, but I haven't done, you know, anything else, <laughs> which is fine. I'm going over the silver first that I found. These I think are beautiful, really. These I think I actually lucked out with. Um, so these are sterling uh, with a gold for May, but these are enameled. And these are an older, older earrings. Absolutely stunning. They almost remind me a little bit of like a Hawaiian flower um, or um, a type of blossom that you would see in some Asian cultures. Really, really beautiful. Now, I have horrible flowers, so I'm probably wrong on both, but I do think that these are a uh, Chinese export. And then I got these. Now, I took a chance on them because, you know, there's no markings on them. Um, now, listen, I am not ashamed to pull out a loop. I know some people say, don't do it, don't do it. I could give two poops about that, okay? I can't see. I've got bad eyesight. So I pull out, I wear a loop, actually. Uh, but a nice, like a jeweler's loop. So it's like sterling silver on a nice chain. So it doesn't look, you know, like I'm pulling out a big old wand with a big magnifying glass, you know. Um, but I do have a loop. Um, and I do carry an earth magnet on my chain. Um, it has like, a, it's for a jeweler. And it just hooks onto your little chain. Um, just to test. I'm not going to pull acid at a store. Although I, I have been known to. <laughs> That's been a while though. And no, get your minds out of the gutter. Not that kind of acid. You all know what I mean. The jeweler's acid. Come on. Anyway, these are sterling, um, and I was really happy to get them. Now, bangles aren't always the biggest seller for me, but these I couldn't leave behind. They're fantastic, very Bali, probably made in Thailand, I'm assuming. Um, you know, I guess I shouldn't have any assumptions about anything, but they look like that to me. But they are sterling, and they're fabulous, in great condition. 
So I said, yes, 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 yes. So I was happy. Oh, as I throw one down. Okay, then I got this pendant and, um, you know, it is sterling, it is big, it is lightweight, which is sometimes appealing to some people when they wanna have a big look, but they can't handle the weight. Um, I don't know anything about it. It is very Southwestern looking. Um, I'll try to figure out something about it, but I just thought it would, like the simplicity of it was really nice. And it had a big bang for a small buck, I guess. So yeah, that would be nice on a torque, I think. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, this one. This one uh, was interesting. I don't. I haven't tested these. I think they're probably glass, but they might not be. They might be something else. Please focus, camera. Anyway, I don't know. But this is all sterling. The findings, and I'm. A, I love clasps. I don't know why, but I found this one intriguing. <laughs> it's a cool one because it has the safety and it's like sprung action. It's hard to do leaning over on the table that's like five inches off the floor. But you press this down and you flip that over and it opens. Um, and I just thought it was really pretty, and a bead is also sterling. So, um, and yes, did I get this at the same? No, I did not get this at the same vendor as those base bracelets. Although, they would look nice together. If you like to do that matchy type of thing. Um, this, I have no idea. I will do research. It is, I had to get this. I know I most a lot of my people are not costume jewelry people, but... Oh, come on. This is gorgeous. It is in fantastic condition. It's all punk set. Faceted green ombre. I don't know if it's picking up right now because I have a wooden table that, yes, me, Kirsten made. Um, anyway, uh, but look at the back of the glass so you can see how it's... It does have the puddle eight figuring. It, the clasp... Okay, so everything is correct. The clasp, um, the the way the hinge is, the figure eighting of a Juliana, but I don't know, so I have to do some research. But regardless, the only thing I don't, that does not look Juliana to me. Now, please, if someone knows, please let me know. Are these prongs, the, the forked ones, do you see those? I am not aware if Juliana ever used those prongs. Um, and if not, if someone knows who did, that would help me out a lot. This thing is nice. Really, really beautiful. So I, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, even if I end up keeping it. It's just, and no, it doesn't glow. I did try. <laughs> I tried. Um, look at this. Here's the clasp. Look at this necklace. Isn't she beautiful? Oopsie. Well, when she's not tangled. I just loved it. Very Art Nouveau looking. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I know nothing. I haven't done any research. Um, this seems to be not an antique. Just the way that the metal is stamped out. Um, it is most certainly a vintage piece, but uh, I think it's supposed to emul emulate uh, an antique. Um, but I wouldn't put it past being, I don't know, 60 years old or something. Maybe maybe not. Maybe earlier. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but I think it's a newer, fairly newer. So vintage. Not new, new. But now talking about antiques, this is an antique. Oh, my poor back. I'm getting too old for this bending over. Look at this fabulous, fabulous hat pin. Okay. Please focus, camera. It's like my bane of my existence of these days. Anyway, this thing is so, so, so long. It is a very, very long one. Really, really cool. Can I even get it in frame? I don't know. Oh, am I annoying everyone? Look at that. With the red glass cab. Really great. Really good condition. There's no rust on this. Not that I see. There's a wear to it, but it's a flipping old, old, old hat pin. So I was thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to get that. Um, hmm. There we go. I'll zoom back out a little bit, sorry. And then I did manage to get one, some of the perfume bottles were, um, come on, just outstanding, but they were very expensive. Uh, not in the price for resale at all, but I did find this gorgeous one and he did work with me on the price of it. The other ones that I've had recently, I've actually had imported from uh, Czechoslovakia and it takes way, way too long and customs, and it's just very difficult and I don't know when they're going to come um, and the condition they're going to be in and if I'm actually going to get what I ordered, you know, that type of thing. This is, I went, I saw, I loved, he worked out a deal, I bought it. So um, it is in really, really great condition. Now this is glass, not crystal. I didn't test it, but I can, well, I could be wrong because I'm not an expert on this, but um, it doesn't look like crystal to me. Um, it is very heavy, but um, it doesn't have that same type of um, shimmer that crystal has. Although this is beautiful all the same, and it is very large and heavy and fantastic piece. Um, and I personally do like 
clear. Not everyone does, um, but I do. Um, and then this is a personal thing that I bought. Um, I used to collect these. I have a few of them throughout my home. Let me, I'm lifting the camera to show you because it's hard to do because I'm in a weird position. But I bought one of these, my hanging cool mid-century lamps. Um, I been I, I bought it last week. I didn't buy it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. Went online, tried to purchase some and they were astronomical. They've gotten very expensive, I guess, as everything has, right? But uh, I got a little bit of a deal on it and I said, yes, I'm taking that baby home. And if anyone is curious, um, occasionally I do make furniture and this is one of the tables that I have made with the uh, old school pin legs and a nice slab, 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 slab of teak wood. Anyway, <laughs> it's not what I do for a living, but I do, you know, when you like something that you see and you can't afford to buy it, figure out how to make it. That's what I always said. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for dealing with me coming in, seeing my little, my little fun trinkets haul, whatever you want to call it that I got. I will, I'll try to get better at doing these things, the out and about. It's difficult. I don't really... Yeah, it's hard. Um, I got to get the right things together to hold the camera and ask permission to film and music and all that stuff. But anyway, thank you so much. If you've yet not subscribed, please do. We do have fun on my channel. Um, I'm starting these out and abouts, evidently. Um, we do do auctions every Thursday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. And I do occasionally throw in like a cute little educational video, but I try to make it fun and silly and not stupid and boring. We have plenty of, you know, I want to be silly. It's who I am, you know, and I like to have fun. And anyway, um, everyone be safe out there. Take care of yourself. And um, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, it helps my channel out. Thank you. Peace out. Bye.